Hello everyone, and here we have a new story. Before we get to that, I want to ask you to subscribe, like, and be sure to write comments in order to participate in the development of the community. Write how to improve my community, current topics and the stories you are interested in, and much more. I read and listen to all the comments. People write me stories by mail from different countries. There are problems with translation. I apologize for this. I will work on it and try to fix these errors. I want to thank everyone for their support and the people who wrote to me by mail. Broadcast news stories. New videos on my channel are published once every two days at 7 p.m. Don't forget to put a bell in order not to miss new videos. And now, let's go. Hello, I want to tell you my story. My beloved girlfriend and I have been officially together for two years now. In total, we were in a relationship for three years. The first year we looked at each other, it all started as usual. We met, fell in love, got married. We have children, a house, a job. I fell in love with her for her kindness and a caress. At that moment, I did not think about the devotion and loyalty of the girls. <sighs> as they say, I was young and stupid, by the way. My wife is nine years older than me. I am 20, two years old, and she is 30, one years old. But her superiority in age has never manifested itself in our family life. She was acting like a little kid all the time, and I have never justified the difference of nine years. I have to admit to you that I liked it. But all good things come to an end. This situation happened on April 29th. That day, I found out everything. We were both at work that day. We worked in different cities, but the cities are not far from each other. My mobile phone rings and I look at an unfamiliar number. When I picked up the phone, I heard some guy's voice. Your wife is flirting with me. I didn't understand what was going on at first. I thought it was a joke or a prank. I asked him who he was and where did he get such information? He replied that I shouldn't be nervous and told me where I needed to come today so that he would explain everything in detail. My blood began to boil in my veins. It was as if a devilish anger had come over me. I wanted to tear this bitch apart and I couldn't believe it. Was my beloved girl capable of such an act? This question has been running around in my head non-stop. I was looking forward to meeting this guy. The time lasted a very long time. During these hours, I smoked a pack of cigarettes. As a result, I couldn't stand it and went to the meeting place. I was shaking wildly on the way there. I went to the designated place, but there was no one there. I lit a cigarette and started waiting. Time was running out, but this guy still hadn't come. After 40 minutes, I decided to call him. After another 10 minutes, I couldn't stand it and started calling him. I couldn't stand this madness. This guy immediately realized who was calling him. As soon as he picked up the phone, he immediately said, My friend, I'm busy at work. I'll call you back later. He asked, Are you there yet? I replied, yes, I'm on the spot and hurried him on. He asked me to wait for him for another 30 minutes. The thirst to find out the truth cut me apart. My patience was at its limited. After 40 minutes, I saw a guy coming straight at me, but I still didn't realize it was him. The guy was dressed very simply. You can immediately see that he was from the provinces. But at that moment, I didn't care where he came from because I wanted to find out the truth as soon as possible. He came up to me and quietly asked, is that you? I immediately began to bombard him with questions. At that moment, I thought I was going to explode like a bomb. In general, this guy told me everything and showed me messages from my wife that were addressed to him. I was shocked by what that bitch wrote. She wrote that she wanted to have sex with him and many other vulgarities. I'm even ashamed to talk about it. <sighs> my head just exploded from what I saw. This guy started to calm me down, but I got even madder. At that moment, all I wanted to do was just kill my wife. But this guy kept telling me, don't be a fool. She's not worth it, and so on. I didn't even listen to him because I was full of evil and hatred. After a while, this guy was about to leave. I shouted at him to stop. Because at that moment, I realized that he told me this for a reason. I started interrogating him out of anger. I wanted him to tell me about meetings with my wife. I wanted him to tell me verbatim what my wife told him. I don't know why I did it. Probably to get completely mad. But this guy answered me with one word flirted. It didn't suit me. And then I asked, did she tell you about me? What did she tell you when she met you? What did you do and where did you go? He replied that she had not told him anything about me 
and the rest of the questions were answered in one word again. My advice to you is to leave her because now you know the truth. What exactly she told me doesn't matter anymore, he said. I told him you don't have to teach me. I'll deal with this stuff myself. For 15 minutes, I bombarded him with questions burst with jealousy. In the end, I asked, why did you tell me everything? Why did you do that? You don't know me at all. He replies that I don't need to know person to tell him the truth. I've experienced something like this in my life and that's why I decided to tell you. I hate girls like that. Hate girls like that. Then, I asked, how did you find out my phone number? You could just have sex with her and that's it. But you told me everything. This guy turned out to be normal. He replies to me, I told you that I hate girls like that. I'm a married man myself. I just hid it from your wife. I found your number on your wife's phone. Then, I decided to tell you everything. In general, draw conclusions, he said, and was about to leave again. At that moment, the idea arose in my head with the help of this guy to expose my wife. He was afraid that his wife would find out and then he would not be well. But I wanted to see with my own eyes how my wife would lie down under it. I started begging him because all I needed was my wife's consent and he wouldn't have to have sex with her. This is all to catch my wife red, handed. I asked his to continue the relationship with her and notify me about everything. I'll write you the questions you asked my wife. He didn't agree at first because he was afraid his wife would find out. Then I offered him money, but please help me. I said, in general, he agreed and we exchanged social networks. Then I went home. On the way home, I thought about how I should treat my wife. After all, I was in a terrible state. My nerves were on edge, but I had to deal with it to bring her to the surface when I entered my house. My wife was not there yet, and I started drinking whiskey and waiting for her. I walked around the room like I was in a holding cell. An hour later, my wife returned home. Guess what I wanted to do with her right in the hallway? <laughs> I couldn't act like I used to with her. But the main thing is to keep yourself in control. I didn't even ask her anything and she went to bed saying, I'm very tired. When my wife fell asleep, I went to the bathroom to call this guy and tell him to start our plan. But this guy didn't pick up the phone. It's good that he called me back through an hour later. I asked him to ask my wife if she loves her husband, whether she wants to have sex with him and so on. I expected to receive an answer in the morning. I do not know how I got into bed with her drunk because I was sick of looking at her drunk because I was sick of looking at her. I got up 20 times at night to smoke and pretended in the morning that I was still asleep. I waited for my wife to leave even though I hadn't slept all night. While my wife was putting on makeup, I checked my phone. There was a message from this guy. I quote, your wife said she doesn't love you and wants to have sex with me. But I told her that I would tell your husband everything if you didn't leave me alone. I'm not involved in this anymore, so figure it out for yourself. I was overcome with anger and I told my wife straight out. She admitted that it was true but she has realized everything and wants to stay with me. At that moment, I felt disgusted with her. Two weeks later, we got divorced. As a result, I live alone and carefully approach the choice of a girl. Girls are very insidious creatures. Friends, be careful and attentive. If you like the story, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new videos. Now let's move on to the opinion of the author of the channel. The opinion of the author of the channel. According to tradition, I want to wish strength and patience to our hero. After listening to your story, I was once again convinced that girls are treacherous and deceitful creatures and deceitful creatures. You are lucky that you met a good person on your way who told you the truth and opened your eyes. You made the right choice. Start a new life and try not to think about the past. It's difficult, but time will put everything in its place. If you have watched to the end, I want to say thank you very much. I love you all. Thank you for joining me on this exciting journey of love, betrayal, and redemption. I appreciate your support and encourage you to subscribe, like, and share this story. Your participation and feedback are invaluable for shaping our content and promoting mutual understanding and community growth. Until we meet again.